Um, <clears throat> back with another video. This generator has been sat for approximately, the guy told me the last time he used it was 2002. Um, I don't know if that's true. I've had a look inside the tank and it does appear it's been sat for a very, very long time. Um, I have been just taking things off it over the last couple of days. I've not even tried to see if it's got a spark, but that's where I left it. Um, so that's what we're going to do now. Uh, the tank's quite wipe substance powder, so the fuel is was so old. What was ever left in it, it's, it was so old that it's just completely gone to dust. Um, so that's how long it's been sat. It is a generator. I'm not doing too much to the electric side today. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to do electric side on this one, just because I don't think he wants it done. I think he just wants the engine running and just plugged in, just so if it works, sort of thing. So that's simply what we're going to do today. Um, see if we can get this puppy running. I don't know if it's got a hat. Honestly, I haven't even pulled the pull cord yet. That's how silly this is. I've not even pulled the pull cord yet. Um, I've literally taken the spark plug out, put some WD-40 straight down the head just to lubricate things because obviously it's been sat for a while. Haven't even pulled it over just because of that reason I wanted to sit for a while. Um, I've looked inside the tank. The tank, like I said, is a bit mucky and a bit powdery. Um, so we'll have a look at that as well. So first of all, um, I'm going to pull it over. It's got no spark plug in it. It does blow over. Good compression. <laughs> right, okay. Let's chuck uh, the old spark plug in it, which I've got here, and see if it sparks. It's an older one. So, see if it's got a spark. Yeah, that's going to ground. What we're on. Can you see that? See if you can see a spark in there. Yep, so we've got a spark, which is good. Let's... Obviously, as you're all probably saying to me, I'm um, over the voice, the carbon is clean, absolutely agree with you. Oh, like I said, I haven't even looked into that yet, so I'm not looking forward to that, because it could be a bit mucky. So I'm going to get a 10 mil ready and um, loosen these two bolts off. That's a 10, two 10 mils, and there's a 10 mil on the top as well. Right there. And we'll get that carb off and have a look what's in the carb. Be back right, right so back. Got two got the ratchet. Let's get these bolts unloosened. Ooh, they're tight. They never been off. Right, so we might have an issue with getting the carb off. Depends on how far it slides, just because the frame of the generator is in the way. We might have to loosen off the engine mounts to just turn the engine a little bit. I don't worry about that just yet until we come to it. So, yeah, these have never been off. You can tell by the, just the clicking noises they're making when they crack. So, unloosen the bolt on top as well, take that right out. We will probably take the tank off as well, eventually. Slide the air filter straight off. You've got the choke mechanism. That comes off just like that. And you've got this little gasket. And then you've got some cables and stuff. Look at the state of that car. Just dusty and really, really horrid. So then you've got the fuel pipe. Which you just pry. Got to be a little bit careful don't break. Because obviously, as you know, this is very dirty. So just pry that off gently. No fuel in it, so... That's good. So then just pull it forward a little bit. This little break, this little um 
sorry, let me just get you down on it. So this uh, throttle um, shaft, if that's what it's called, can't remember what it's called. Um, and the spring needs to come off as well. Spring super, super simple. Just be careful you don't catch your hands with it because I've, I've had one of them go straight through my finger before and it wasn't pleasant. So, pull that a bit forward. These can be a bit of a pain to get off, but they do just pop off. So, yeah, so we might have to release Oh, okay, got lucky. So I just have to push the, tap, push the whole engine that way because it's on rubber mounts. So, right then, so let's... Haven't even looked at this carb yet, as you know. So let's literally just undo this bolt. <coughs> so what are we thinking? Is he going to be crusty? Ooh, he smells old. Oh, not bad. He's old. And you can you can smell you I believe this guy had this thing has been sat for a very long time. I don't know, I don't think 2002, but I think quite a while. So I'm just having a little look. Um, right, let me give it a screwdriver. Take that jet out. So you've got a middle jet in the middle. Ooh, no, that don't, don't feel very good. Oh, he's undoing. Ooh, he don't feel very good. He feels very sticky. At least he undid then. I was quite worried then. No, he's all right though. So happy days. And out he comes. There we go. And he's properly locked. Very, very blocked. And then you've got the big long tube, up, big long jet will go straight through the middle. The way to get them out is open the choke up. And we can see down there, little brass tube just poking out there where my finger is, tip of my finger. If you push that down, you normally find... Um, Allen key. So literally just push them straight. There you go. Straight out. There you go. And that literally just goes back in that way. The longy pointy end goes in first. We'll show you that at the end though. And is he blocked? Mm, maybe a little bit. Not as bad as that one is though. And while we're at it, we're releasing this one as well, just to see what's craps in there. Oh, he's loose. Someone's been playing. Yeah, there's a bit more crap in there. A bit of dust and crap. Nothing major though, I'm quite quite impressed what I'm seeing. Um I think going saying you know me saying it's never been used is a bit a bit rich it probably has definitely been used um i don't think it's been used for long when it was used um be good if we can find the date on this machine what i'll do is i'll get some spray i'll come right back to you right then so now we have the um oh God, leaving things so now we have the carb um of pieces and stuff but all the dust on the top and stuff like that it doesn't it, i mean it's not going to really to hurt that bad i am just going to get some um old petrol and a brush and just gently i mean you don't got to be gently but just just gently um so they can splash it everywhere get oh the choke movers come off that's not a big deal don't worry about that get get some old fuel and just paint it all over the car and get all this crap and build up of dust and whatever else is on there straight off. 
Okay. Don't tell me mother, I'm losing using one of our plates in my kitchen. <laughs> so, <clears throat> like I said, just get all this crap off. And then afterwards you can blow it off the air compressor. I don't have to go crazy, but it just makes it look a hell of a lot nicer and to work with. And look at all that crap that's coming off. I mean, most of it's old fuel, but it is um, a lot of crap coming off as well. So that's what you want to do. Get all the crap, all the nuggins and guggings and whatever else is here. Just get it all wiped away, just like that. And then get your air compressor, which I'll show you now. Okay. With the air compressor. Oh, let me just um, turn it on. There we go. I've got a leak on my air compressor. I didn't mention it in my last video. Just watch all the seals as well, don't worry. Perfect. Get back down, clean out all the carb. Get your, your cleaner, whatever you're using. And just blow it all out get it all out haven't got a lot of air left in this but I'm still cleaning it right so then get your air compressor again blow all this out blow all the jets out and then we'll put it back together back in a second right then so now you've got your carb all cleaned up as it should be. You want to go through with these little, I've got these little jet clean uh, drill things. Um, just find one what fits okay and just start drilling it out. Don't go too big. So as you can see, I'm just winding it in there gently. This one's really blocked up. So, um, and gently go bigger or smaller. Whatever you need to do to clean this hole out, we'll do it. Um, just be careful with your fingers because these can be quite sharp. So gently just do that. So what I'm going to do, you don't want to watch, that's boring. But what I'm going to do is can clean these out and I'll get back to you when I'm putting it back together. Once you clean out all the jets and you can see completely through them, like them all. You might not be able to see that, but I can, and it's absolutely fine. So then put your long jet straight back in. And then you want something to poke it when you're in there, right? Well, you probably don't have to, but I do. It's just what I do. And you want to see it come out, like I said earlier, go straight through there, okay? Put your little jet back in with a screwy little flathead. Um, point your bit at the top. And then do it back up. Not very tight. You don't have to be very tight at all. They're only brass, and they strip very easily. Okay, so, now the little um, fuel shut-off bowl, majiggy. Um, so, what I do is fill it up with, um, not fill it up, just put a decent amount in there, get a screwdriver, wash it all, push it all around, and um, blow it out with the air compressor, and see what it looks like. So let me just do that off now. Yep, yeah, that's much more livable. I'm happy with that. That's just stains on the bottom. Happy with that. So that goes straight back in. Do that up. Okay, <clears throat> pardon me. So it comes over your bowl. You can bloody see this, you know. So it comes over your bowl, empty your bowl with all your bits and bobs. So in there you should have your your float, your needle with the float obviously, your bolt and your pin to hold the float in. So I'm just going to clean that bowl out again. Sorry, not again, I haven't done it yet. <laughs> so, and then, like I said, just fill it up, get some, uh, scrape it all around. You can use a wire brush in there as well, but I don't want to get my drill out. 
so it's just scrape it all around, clean it all up as much as you possibly can. And then just blow it out with the air compressor. Just like so. Get a bit of cloth and go over it again, just and get all the crap off because you don't want to contaminate what you've just cleaned. So let me just get a cloth quickly. So give it all a good clean out. <sighs> Quite happy with that. Could be a bit better, but it is what it is. So then put your jet straight back, sorry, not your jet, your float back on after you give it a good wipe off as well. All that crap's on my bench, these clean the bench really. Right, so, put your float back on. Make sure the little black needle there sits in that hole. And then your little pin will go straight through it. Oh, I've dropped it. Little pin goes straight through the side of the mechanism there. So that just goes through like so. Give it a bit of a wobble. Can be a bit tricky sometimes. There you go. Make sure it comes out the other end as well, which mine's just done, and make sure it's sealing okay, which we won't really know until we put it on. Then, what you want to do is this little thing here is a drain to drain your carb. Um, you're meant to do it every winter when you put the machine away, drain your carb. Most people don't do it, um, but have that towards the area you're going to get it from. So my generator is facing this way, so I'm going to put that that way. Like that and your little um, washer thing with your bolt put them straight back in there do them up these don't have to be tight again but do it reasonable that's enough cool so put it in back on let me get you set up properly put it back on and then we'll fire My up fat hands might get in the way but um it's literally just doing what we just did to take it off, right? So, yeah, let's crack on with it. So, just because my, the, I'm going to have to push the motor this way a bit, just to get the carb on. Oh, my hand slipped. There you go. Straight on like that. Super simple. Put it back off and put the linkages back on. Right, so your little spring goes in the little hole next to the big linkage. Very, very simple to do. Um, so what I'm going to do quickly now is I'll show you what I'm going to do. So all this gubbings down here by this, all, all the old oil residue and just crap and stuff and just like getting in my way, doing my head in kind of thing. I'm going to get that old fuel. I'm just going to brush all this off and all this frame and just give it a bit of a clean up and I'll be back right back with you. Better, as you can see not a hell of a lot better but it's workable now so i can get to the oil and just tip things and stuff i know what you're all thinking oh god he's putting fuel next to a electrical box and all oh, fuel and uh, yeah okay if it f catches fire whose fault is it it's my fault so you don't need to go worrying about it let me do my business and let you do yours um right so the next thing is then getting that carb secured properly um and then maybe having a look at the tank, seeing if it does need to come off and seeing if we can just put some fuel in it, check the oil and see if we can fire this up. I know what Let's you're all thinking. You're all screaming at me. Put the choke lever back on. You're very right. I nearly forgot. You were very, very right. So there you go. Back on. Super simple. All right. There we go. That's that warrior. thing to go on is the fuel pipe. So we need to get the fuel pipe under the tripod. Uh, get the fuel pipe back on. I probably should completely run fuel down the pipe, but I'm not going to. Sorry, my hand's going to get in the way. I'm just going to push the thing back on. There you go, back on, lovely. See, the little clips on it as well. Um, so, the next thing to go on is this puppy. A bit dirty, a bit grubby, but it is what it is. I'm not even going to wash it. 
So when these go on, don't forget the little pipe, the little breather pipe goes straight into the valve. So it sucks all the crap. Um, well, it doesn't suck all the crap. It's, you know, whatever. Um, a vacuum pipe, if you like. Um, Go straight onto there. Don't forget to put that on as soon as you put it on. But first of all, you're all screaming at me again, put the little gasket on. So let's put the little gasket on. Cool. And you want these on the middle when you put this thing on because it'll just cause you issues. So as you can see, they've gone straight in. So first of all, put your little um, bolt through the top because that just locates everything in. So let me just do this one. I'm gonna do these up and I'll done up. That's okay. We're gonna leave the air filter off for now. Um, I'm gonna try it with the old spark plug and just see if it does fire. Um, let's see what it does. So I'm gonna put that back in. I'm going to need the right socket for that, Andrew. I don't really need that one there. Is it that one there? Yes, it should be. Um, just with a socket ratchet. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so let me get the right extender bar on that. Just like that. And then, right, okay. So put it in hand by first. So, let me do this up and come back so, to Spark plug back in, carb cleaned. Let's have a look inside the tank. I don't know if you can see in there, uh, but it don't look great. Probably looks okay there, but in the corners, it's quite mucky. So, I'm not too sure what to do. Let me just have a, a nose in there. So I can see. So I was just trying to have a look at myself, that's all. Well, there with me. Just gonna get a bit of crap. Um. Ideally, that tank does need to come off, doesn't it, really? Because there is a lot of crap in there, and I don't know what other crap's in there, you know? Um, I might take that tank off. You're all probably saying, very, very good idea, Andrew. So, I think I'm going to agree with you and take the tank off. I can't remember how these tanks come off, so bear with me. I can't remember if it's these two bolts on the two at the back. So just bear with me a second. We get another extender. Now I've learned over the years, if you don't know, then try it. <laughs> Probably not the best model, but if you don't know, try it. You never know, do you? you know? So I'm just going to see if I can undo these bolts. And which ones are the ones I need to undo. Is it that one there? Because will he be going into the... I think it's both of them, you know. So let me undo these two bolts and I'll come and back that, to you. The only one you have to undo is that long one in there. That one just holds this bracket on. So it'll be that bolt there. So I forgot which one you had to do because it's a long time since I took one of these tanks off. So let's get around the other side and undo those two bolts the other so side. These two bolts I've just undone, which is two, again, 10 mil nuts. What go on there? So this tank, I believe, just pries up now. I've undone the fuel line from the car. All shouting at me. And there you go. And pull straight out, there we go. Simple as that. So let's clean this tank up inside and clean up this mechanism here with some old petrol 
You can't use old petrol. Yes, I can. Cool. You're gonna great. Things look a little bit better. Um, so there's a tank a little bit. Cleaned it up a little bit with some old petrol and just blown it off and whatever. So now is trying to figure out and solve the tank issue. It has got some dust and crap in there. I've tried shaking it. I've got a bit out down here. Um, but not as much as I would like. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of petrol in the bottom. Blow it out with the air compressor and get the paper back out. That's what I'm going to do now. So I'm back with you. Petrol in there now. Just gently shaking it around. I haven't put too much in it. And then, see if we can get any of that out. Let's get some tissue in there and blow it all out then. Come back to you. Now you've got all the paper nice and wet inside, pull it all out. Any more rubbish in there? As you can probably see, or maybe not can see it, let me get a torch. It's a hell of a lot better. That's just rust on the bottom of the tank, that. It's a hell of a lot better. So yeah, happy I'm quite happy with that. So let's get this back on the machine and then we'll put some fuel in it and fire it up. Oh, so, good. tank back on, carb clean. Everything is working, we seem to be. Fuel lines back on, everything's tightened up and ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shove some fuel in it. And I'm going to go for a live fire up. Never ever started this thing in my life. I don't know if there's any other problems that he hasn't told me. Um, I'm not too sure about it on it at all. Oop, bit of fuel spill, I will mop that up. Don't go too crazy. Right, quickly mop that fuel up before somebody mentions it. Right, so let's put the lid back on. Okay, so fuel is on. We are on our ignition. We are off at a choke, now we're on. Let's just gently give it a few turns. I've already checked, I haven't checked the oil. Let me just check the oil. Oil's fine. Bit low, possibly, but it's okay. Uh, oh, get back in there. Right, so let's go for a fire up then. I'm not putting the fuel, but fil air filter back on yet. Let's go for a fire. Wow. That was first ball. Wow, I didn't expect that one. I thought we were going to have to clean the car up again. That runs smooth as, doesn't it? Um, so, very, very happy. Quite shocked, to be fair. <laughs> um, so, that was refusing to start the last time he tried it. It wouldn't even cough or fire. We have got it fired in this video and running absolutely mint. Um, 
I'll put a filter back on and we'll uh, I'll give the gentleman a call so to come pick it up. That's pretty cool though, isn't it? Um, that's first pull. That was absolute first pull. That's the power of Honda engines. They are brilliant. They start every time. Well, they're meant to anyway. Uh, they start every time and they are spot on. I love Hondas. One of my favourite makes to work on. I love them. Brilliant machines. Nice and smooth. Can't go wrong with them. Um, I will change that spark plug just because it's old and monkey and whatever. Um, but I will change that. And believe me, but if you're going to think, if you're thinking to, oh, he's not going to change it, he ain't got one. Yes, I have. BCPR, BPR 5ES. That is going in that machine when I turn this video off. Um, so, yeah, happy days. Really, really happy with that. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching again. Uh, thanks for the support on my last video. Um, obviously, getting back to YouTube is quite quiet, isn't it? But um, I'm still happy with what I got on the last video. Um, so I do want to try and <clears throat> make more videos and just um, have a laugh and uh, get back into YouTube and see if I can uh, build a bit more of a um, subscriber base. That'll be really fun and going forward if we can get bigger projects like old cold start cars. That's what I want to do, old run and start, you know, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, I love mechanics. I love the thing, way they think work and fixing them and getting them running. Um, bringing something like this back to life is quite fun. Um, so if you like the way I do things, please leave this video a like. Um, give us a subscribe if you're new. Um, don't forget to check out my Amazon wish list. That means an absolute world to me. If you can do that, um, don't have to buy nothing. Just check it out and see what's on there. Um, but until the next one, I will see you very, very, very soon. See you later.